Today we're at the um, Women in Business and Sports uh, event hosted by the Brumbies and I'm here to give a chat about overcoming adversity. It's great to see the Brumbies putting on an event like this. Uh, many, many moons ago I was a Brumbies member and you know they didn't have a team, a women's team, they didn't have a women's academy and it's great to see that they're now coming to the forefront and putting their hands up and saying yeah we see that change needs to happen and we want to be a part of that change. It's, it's fantastic. No, I just think it's a great, great atmosphere in that room and uh, lots of people networking and, and showing support for our CBW team and that's great from the community. I was brought here because the Canberra Times are also involved in this, um, in this program so I came because I think it's you know, important to have um, voices from all different parts of sport, whether it be the Brumbies, whether it be athletes or the media, people like, people like me to be able to speak about their experiences. I'm a part of the panel, um, so we'll be getting up and speaking shortly. And there's a few of us here from the Brumbies team that will speak on our behalf of our journeys with, with sport and rugby and our careers individually. A lot of support out there and the room's packed with enthusiastic people ready to get behind other women in, in their journeys. I think we've come a long way. Things like the Matildas, just achieving pay equity, show that we've come a really long way. But some of the things that happen around the fringes, and I'll be speaking about it today, that show that there's still a vast inequality um, and I think that sport has the opportunity to be a voice and a platform for bringing more equality not just in sports but across greater social change and I think that it's beholden on all of us to use that platform for greater good and bring that into all facets of society, bring women up to have the same amount of sponsorship deals, the same amount of access to all of the things that men have and sport has so many good qualities. It has self-building confidence qualities, health benefits and um, building relationships and those sorts of things and we see a lot of women that drop out of sport early and miss all of those benefits. So we've got a long way to go in that sense in terms of making sure that women stay involved in sports both as spectators and athletes. I think it's, it's important because it acknowledges that, you know, an organisation like Brumbies isn't just the players, it isn't just, like, for example, the men's team in Super Rugby, that the organisation it extends beyond. It, it goes to the, the women's program as well, which has kicked up the last few years. It goes to board members. So it's kind of bringing, it's important because it brings all those people together to have the conversation um, about women's sport and rugby's place in it. This year we've got a lot of coaching staff. I've got, I've got a dedicated skills and breakdown coach. I've got an assistant coach dedicated to set piece. Uh, we've instilled two development coaches, two physios, a doctor, um, two sports trainers. We've got our manager, um, plus we'll have guest coaches. It's, it's bigger than it has ever been and it's only going to continue to get bigger. Um, the amount of gear and the amount of money they've invested this year is, is substantial. The new change room gives the players a, an outlet and, a, and I guess a sanctuary for before and after training. That's fantastic. I mean, I've been a part of this women's journey now in, for Brumbies for the past 10, 11 years. And um, I guess in the last three years, especially, the support has just grown exponentially. For them to be putting on events these days and, and actually actively funding us and trying to fundraise for us is something that we've never had before. So this support hopefully um, pushes us through the season well and um, puts us in good stead for other people to follow suit in the years to come. When I grew up, my heroes were Ben Shoon, Nick Farr-Jones, um, and I knew I could never be like them or play at the level that they play. Now we have real women that people like my daughter can aspire to be like, and they know that they can play at those highest levels, and I think that's absolutely fantastic.